Excuse me, sir. Do you have any comments for the shotgun? Ah! Run! Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Ah. Oh shit. Valid route confirmed. There Carlos, we go. Me. Oh my god. Oh, you just made out with the skin of your ass. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Let's get into the video. Oh, I'm bleeding. I forgot that I started here like this. There we go. Now I'm spay. Now I'm feeling spicy. The key's hanging on the wall. I already got the key. Oh, I gotta go. What I need to do go back to the sweating we can't go that way. Oh, through here, through here. Okay. He's sucking on my head! <laughs> Whoa! Who's what behind me? Hey! Bitch! Yeah! Oh, that was <laughs> the balls! Stay down! All right, is that everybody? Okay. We're somewhat good. <laughs> Anybody want some tea? Can't see shit in here. It's dark. Oh, great. Wow! That's really far away. That's ridiculous! That was like a 20 foot stabby stab! Now I'm dying again! Ooh, Raccoon Times Reader call. Dear Editor, because I'm. Oh, I am writing to you because I'm troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays, and there's no store more popular or harder on a par parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. <laughs> Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, the children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers take a death trap down. Timothy Wiles, 69. <laughs> Hopefully there's an herb in here. Oh no, I can't use that. Let me use this. Watch. It's a spatula. I don't need explosive rounds. I'm dying. Of course, I can't search anything. Great. All right, go through here. This is a really shitty place. One freaking. We got two shotgun rounds. Oh, wrong button. Making explosive rounds out the rectum. All right. Hopefully, the 
This saves my ass. Wrong kind of weeds. Need some herbage, but not that kind. Hey, me. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Oh, what's he got? A freaking bazooki? Uh. Wow! Bob and wave! Bob and wave! <laughs> All right, yeah, shoot him! Oh God! Go! Gone. I'm like on my toes here. I didn't remember this part. Yeah, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? The shit messes up my bum! Me uh -oh. too. got a machine gun missile launcher. Holy shit. Yeah, you need to get moving, lady. <laughs> I'm freaking dying. <laughs> this is not a good time to be dying. <laughs> She's gonna plop down right in front of me and start bazooka firing. Oh. Or he's just gonna blow the big head off. Crush. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember that shit! Oh, I kinda did just read about that in the newspaper now that I think about it. <laughs> Okay, so where am I supposed to go after he bazookies the... I bet you he's standing. I would like to imagine he's standing behind and he fires that rocket through the donut. <laughs> okay, so what do they want me to do here? Oh shit! Go, Joe, go! Yeah. That was a really slow moving head. I would have thought. Whoa! Terminator. <laughs> hey, you okay? 
Go. Go, man. Come on, forget about it. I think that just pissed him off. <laughs> Alright, is there any herby herbs? Why are they not giving me any any healing? Good lord. Carlos, I know I need some help! Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. What about you? Uh, from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Well, now that my heart is, uh... Slowly come down. <laughs> Heartbeat. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. No, it's going to get I'm not going to die on you. We in <laughs> a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. It's just because you're You'll need to hair. find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go! Why do I think that this does not go well? I wouldn't stay there and that's not what I hell no. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I haven't done good authority. Uh, uh, why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? Well, I hope this thing's still going. <laughs> what was that? It sounds like you got a problem. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just no. They're gone. Come, this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Son of a bitch. Get off my train. Shit, bird! A shit bird, a bird made of shit. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date. No, she's not like that. What I'd like she's to know is how the hell did Nemesis get down there and hop on the back part of the train without anybody being alerted? Being as big and clunky as he is. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This Ooh. is the police station. Are you sure? I got chain gun. Looks like a cemetery to me. Come on, man. 
Not you too. Sorry. Sorry. This fucker. Go get Excuse me, man. He's Brad. Stay down, Brad. Cut his face off. These stars. That could be useful. Where'd that cop go? Nice. Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Uh, custody? that would be up this way. I thought this was a rescue. Can I go this way? Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. I know where it's at. I've been here Remember, before. Bard had access <laughs> to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Oh, so they're saying this happened right before. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I need something to crack that open. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. Same card required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care and use it. If your card goes missing, report it. Oh, so maybe I use Brad's card. Beautiful. What do I get? C4? Oh, just a couple bullets. <laughs> what the hell was that thing? Mm, munchy crunchies. Oh. I think he's the one that's hanging from the... Yep. <laughs> Couldn't have been a zombie. No, that was Mr. LaCour. Better walk very slowly. Just ah, here we go. Wow. Can I get through here? Can. Doesn't have a chain on it like it usually does. Anything over here, real quick? Oh. More boys. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Okay, can't open that apparently. Oh shit. Um God. There's too many of them. Holy shit. Go 
Yeah, I don't need your ass getting back up. Holy hell. Talk about unloading some bullets, jeez. Oh shit. Locked. Of course it's locked. Uh okay. Take that. Hell yeah. Wow. I have no idea what that password is. I guess you can't open the door because you don't have the key. <laughs> right, that's low. Don't scare me like that, zombie! I'm fucked up shooting cops. <laughs> I'm about to shit myself a little bit there. I didn't want that. Take the bullets, though. Office supply. Recla relocation. Ooh, 9157. All right. Heat resistant three number. Uh, move the star's office. Second floor, west office. One floor. 9157. All right, let's we'll run over there and we'll try it. We'll save there. If cameras killed those things, I'd be set. <laughs> That's fine. All right, nine fifteen seven. Let's see if that works. You better be dead. Not good. It's probably not the right combination for the right one, but we'll try it anyway. Sweet. Yes, I'll take that. All right, let's go up here and see what's going on up here. Usually, it's all be up here somewhere. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Yeah, no zombies up there. In here. Oh, yeah, man. For fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Because there's zombies! Yeah, that's not right. Uh, CAD, maybe? Cap. I'll take a flashbang. You never know when that would come in handy. All right, there we go. There's some healies. Not examine combined. All right, what's this? Note to a friend, Hector. If you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during the intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room I was attacked, one of them bit me. I washed the wound as best as I could. I could. But I feel worse and worse. I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. 
Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. Yes, don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh, that was nice up. Break the shower room wall. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explody way. Can I blow it up? So I guess I need batteries. Where the hell's the batteries? Good at avoiding these guys. There's a key. Okay. Uh, is it Ned? No. Cat. The password is all right. There's no hole there. Shit. So maybe the key opens that little beep beep boop room. Better get the machine gun out. Yeah, luckily that window's okay. No! Oh! Stairs, up the stairs, reload your gun, reload your gun. Oh man, that really got me. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell that loud. Anybody in here chilling? All right. Oh, yes. All right, green. Anything green I can open, which isn't a whole heck of a lot. Or not? Or is it just the key? Stuff that has stuff in it. There's the battery I need. My neck. Oh. So 106, 109. Okay, two and three, I can't do nothing about. So 106 and 109. Heart's still pounding from the liquor. <laughs> Scared shit out of me. I think my eyes about jumped out of my head too there a little bit. <laughs> alright, alright, we're good. Second 
You need those. Give me the nade. Come the papa. All right, beautiful. Ooh, wait, what was that? Oh, okay. Ooh. DCM, okay. Oh, screw you, liquor. About gave me a heart attack. Oh, you stand right where you're at, sir. Do I have any other weapons? I have a pistol. I could use the pistol. Probably make more sense. Okay. D C M. Beautiful. I hope that was more ammo. Yeah, it looks like it. instead of Doesn't matter what it is, you can always kill him by shooting him in the butthole. <laughs> I'll watch will be another one to rip through the damn window and scare the shit out of me. Son of a bitch. Okay. Who we got?
Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! <laughs> Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Well. <laughs> yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace yeah, the doc's you location. Make it. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Yeah, like, uh, healy stuff. Paperwork. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha Team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events in the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incidents was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret Umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-Virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Let me say that again. Alright, so we did that. Anything else? Oh, I can get back here. Is there a bazooki back here for me? No, nothing. More ammo. Good bit of ammo. Take it. Need all I can get. Got any spare pants? Because I just used mine. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Rail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Uh-oh. T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. That was fun where it lasted. Shit! <laughs> You're looking like you got your ass kicked, Jill. We got the only one two bullets. All right. I've got some new weapon for weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put your brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than a lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. 
Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or at the ground, they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, you just toss them in the enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking one of those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Yeah, that'd be fantastic and all if I had to damn buzz. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was just gonna say! It'd be great if I had a bazooki. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button. Leave a comment in the description. Let me know what your favorite Resident Evil game is. Take care of yourselves and peace out.